talking about CO2 emissions, if we, and I know that um, it's a good idea to produce biogas because you actually it's renewable and then you can use the waste for producing it. But if we compare the final product, which is let's say methane, yeah? mm -hmm. if we compare methane produced as biogas and methane, which is conventionally got from, which was produced in the earth millions of years ago. Yeah? Um, if you compare both gases burn and then produce CO2 yeah, or carbon, yeah? so are they comparable? Is it are they exactly the same in terms of um, negative yep. element? Um, the methane that we produce in a biogas plant is the same molecule as the methane in natural gas. Yes. yes. Like what we're looking at is the circular economy. So our concept is: you go to the west of Ireland, you have a fish farm, you have young people working in that fish farm, the GA team is alive, the community is alive, you then grow seaweed around the fish farm. Mm -hmm. So they have one product which is fish, then they have a second product which is seaweed. And, and mm -hmm. this tends to bring in highly educated PhD graduates and master graduates into coastal communities yes. where they're now making products out of the seaweed. And then you have a residue which is the residue of seaweed but you also will have in these communities you will have slurry you will have food waste so we're working at the moment in dingle and we're trying to work with the dingle community to build a digester so our vision is that for example dingle fish farm seaweed industry biotechnology then you scavenge all the slurry and the food waste and you have a biogas plant and that biogas plant produces methane mm -hmm. and that methane goes into little buses and those buses go from Dingle to Kenmare. So your backpacker who comes to Ireland arrives into Dingle and there's a little bus running on methane that's produced from slurries mm -hmm. and residues. And they're traveling around Kerry and we're increasing tourism yes. and it's sustainable biofuel. So that methane in a circular economy can be greenhouse gas negative. Mm -hmm. uh, and in the auditing process of the EU, mm -hmm. if you take methane from slurry, are from food waste and you use it as a transport fuel, you're greenhouse gas negative. And at the moment, if you have electricity, 70% is brown. Mm -hmm. So it's only 30% renewable. So but methane at the moment is far more sustainable than electricity. I understand on the overall, like if you look at the whole system, it could be, as you said, carbon negative. But like if you just compare the products of burning, they're the same, yeah? it's same methane. How do you separate the dance from the dancer? <laughs> but but I, the question is like, if you take two canisters, like one natural gas, another biogas, you burn them, the products of burning are the same. Exactly the same. But then if, if you're looking at it from that perspective, if you narrow your boundary, Ireland has about 20 million tons of slurry mm. sitting in tanks that are producing methane going anyway, into the atmosphere. Yeah. So like if we just say let's electrify so everything to it and we're not going to touch it, that, yeah. it's there. Yeah. Yeah. And in our... No, I understand, it's a good yeah. concept. Like, yeah. So to me, you cannot separate the slurry from the transport mm -hmm. fuel, which is biomethane. Mm -hmm. Because if you say, well, biomethane gives off carbon dioxide, we're not going to use it. You've got all these slurry tanks producing methane. And people anyway, said, well, and just stop them. How, how do you stop yeah, them? Yeah. They say you cover them. If you cover them, you're going to have a methane bubble, you're going to have an explosion. Mm -hmm. So if you trap the methane from a slurry tank, it has to go somewhere. And our perspective is you put it in a bus. But then we come down to the thing that you actually need to have small production units in each farm to produce methane, no? Well, the problem is having small production units in each farm is you're now going to have some engine. It could be, it'll probably be from an old car mm. and your electrical efficiency will be around 12% and you'll have slippage and you'll have methane slipping out the side. Like the concept that we would advocate is that you would have a digester in each parish, for example. You'd have one in Dingle, you'd have one in Kinsale, you'd have one in Balavorna. So where people can bring the And people, waste, if, they're, like if they're going to mart, mm -hmm. they go into mart with their cattle, they bring the slurry, the slurry goes into a digester. Um, so our perspective is you bring it together and you have a co-op. And this is the way the model has gone in Denmark, in Germany. You have a co-op, farmers yes, yes. come together. So rather than each farmer having to have the understanding of running a biogas plant and running an engine, you have a co-op, you employ some young bright person in the community mm -hmm. and they run the digester. You have a few trucks that go from farm to farm to farm. So you employ four or five people full time and then the, the owners of that biogas plant should be the farmers, it should be the local community. And mm -hmm. if you're going to have a combined heat and power plant and district heating, well then the community own it. Mm -hmm. 